Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Dog Days, starring Zachary Gordon, Robert Capron, Devin Bostick, Rachel Harris, St and Steve Zahn, and directed by David Bowers. Now, I don't have much to say about this movie, except it's a sequel to a couple of mediocre films, so let's get a... Well, we'll figure that out in the review after I say something. Um, the crowded pool scene, Manny, Greg's little brother, ditches Greg when he's trying to escape and Greg is trying to keep an eye on him. Manny washes his hands with, in the urinal, with which is painfully... Ew. I don't think I like any of the Hefleys either. They're too lame of people. And I don't... And like the first two movies, I don't even like Greg at all. He's such a terrible person in this whole movie and his visions are terrible like the first two movies. I don't care if he's our protagonist. I personally think he's one of the worst characters I have ever seen with an exception of one person which I'll get to later. I do again like two things about this movie. One, Holly Hills is a sweet character to anyone and that's innocent. And two, another innocent character, Greg's best friend slash innocent friend Rowley. Greg's father Frank is a pretty stupid character and I don't and I don't think I even liked them before. And his mother has this club that is so head scratching lame called Reading is Fun, which it can be on your in its own time, but for a title for a book club is kind of a terrible idea in my opinion. Again, head scratching. Both Greg and Frank are terrible flute horn players, be even if they're in the pretending to be in the Civil War and all that. The subplot of this movie, where Greg is going to be in going to the school as he's entering the eighth grade, just to discipline him, called the Spag Union, is that is just pretentious. I don't know if I'm a believer in that. Is why I'm bringing that up. Greg says he got a job at the country club where he and Rally tried to go. Well, they do end up going to and tries to go more and he tries to go more because he wants to hang out with Holly Hills just so he can get the rest of her phone number down. So he can call her and is rather a risky cliche. And here comes the dumbest character, maybe the worst character, maybe first place and Greg is second place, Patty Farrell. She is one of the dumbest characters in this movie. Even Greg is a better character than her at this point. It's not even funny when she's trying to hit Greg and Rally on with a tennis ball on purpose. Again, just a dumb character. Holly Hills has a Roderick of a sister and herself named Heather. Both she and her friend are so dumb and so annoying. I don't think I like them either. Just like Roderick in this movie. I don't like him either. The dog named Sweetie, named by Manny, is a family movie cliché. Like, did you really need to name him Sweetie, or it was it in the books? I think it might have been in the books. I never read him, never will. But really, naming him that in the books and in this movie? Too much. The fake cell phone scene where he uses it at Raleigh's house and accidentally calls the police is painful. Painful! Like a lot of things in this movie. Where did they get the idea of a game called I Love You Because... Is there really such a game? That sounds like an awkward and just a dumb name for a game. Well, maybe it's more awkward than dumb, but I can... This is a minor point, but... It's just a weird name for a game, I feel like. Especially if, if you have someone over and they're playing that game, like they did in the movie. Oh, boy. Head-scratching moment. The mashing and putting ice cream together on a cone and they share it is actually the one where I think... That's disgusting. Even if you're not related, again, it's just, it's disgusting. The emails sent in the movie, These People driving Are Driving Me Crazy by Greg, was actually a pretty dumb move by an unlikable character, in my personal opinion. Manny has this blanket that he attaches himself to, which we kind of were introduced earlier in the film, but I didn't bother bringing it up, because I thought it wasn't important. And the dog, Sweetie, has got it in his mouth. And Frank and Greg chasing him. And then they grab it. And after Greg tries to use the pot roast as cover for the dog. And it's covered with dog spit. And everyone except Greg and Frank eat the pot roast. 
That's disgusting. Filled with dog spit? Ew. And everybody else still eats it without, like, realizing it? Oh, good lord. Ew. Oh, that's a family movie cliche. Please, stop it. Greg orders too many smoothies at the country club at a point where the bill is too high for him. Raleigh's father to get into, and like I said just before, family movie cliche. When Greg and Frank and the rest of the wimpy kids find out that that the Heffley's neighbor Stan camps with the TV in a refrigerator, which what kind of camping is that? That's not really camping. That's unless if you have a trailer, but with a tent, with those things, you can't get away with that by a long shot. I'm glad Roderick humiliates Heather Hills at the end of the movie, especially for singing her favorite song, the Justin Bieber song, Baby, 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 Oh, oh my god, I was so happy about that. Now, just because I don't have very much to say about this movie, and that was probably it, it's time for the rating. I give this movie a 5.3 out of 10. It's harmless in a way, but I still didn't like it. And I hope the new cast can improve on the characters in the new movie. And I hope it's not as bad as maybe what critics are saying so far. That comes out this weekend. Well, I'm going to find that out by this weekend as well. So next week, I'll return for the long haul. And until next time, it's not a diary. It's a journal.